the beginning and was promoted to library clerk and then library assistant. And she's worked from one, one end of our county to the other at multiple locations, including Central Stacks, Central Circulation, Southwest Hills, which was later renamed Hillsdale Library. She also has worked at the Midland Branch and my favorite library, the Gresham Branch. Over the years, Jean Jeannie has been nominated multiple times for Multnomah County Library's Recognition Awards for her customer service, both internally and externally. She has been involved with Ask Me Local 88 since library staff were first eligible in 1990 and has been either a trustee or officer since 1994. She was a founding member of the Library Results Committee spent two years on the Summer Reading Committee and was a member of the Employee Recognition Committee. Ask anyone and they will tell you how much they enjoy working with Jeannie and what a delight she is. Both patrons and co-workers alike appreciate her calm and friendly presence, her helpful and approachable demeanor, along with her willingness to go, go the extra mile, make her a true customer service professional. Jeannie pays attention to the smallest of details on all assignments and projects, always asking the right questions to make sure that nothing falls through the, through the cracks. In the last five years, Jeannie and a co-worker created a craft program for Central Library patrons. Each month, a mix of regular and new attendees come together to create. One regular participant told Jeannie that Craft Central is his favorite day of the month. Being able to positively impact people's lives like that is truly a gift, Jeannie. Jeannie is also an expert central library tour guide. You have so many talents and skills, Jeannie. Uh, her, I am told her tours are infused with love and interest of our local history as she delivers them with her signature warmth and flair. You know, most employees try to ensure that their personnel files are relatively empty, adhering to the old adage that no news is good news, but not Jeannie. If you look in her personnel file, you will find that it is overflowing with thank yous, compliments, and words of appreciation from multitudes of library patrons and her supervisors dating back four remarkable decades. Jeannie, Thank you so much for all you've given to Multnomah County and the library for the past 40 years. Today, we see you, we appreciate you, and we honor you. Congratulations. It's now. And now for a surprise. Thank you, Commissioner Stegman. Hello, everyone. I'm your Chief Operating Officer, Serena Cruz, and I wanted to be sure to recognize one last person who might not be expecting this before we wrap up the biographies. We look for a lot of things in our leaders. We want them to be people of integrity, people who are agreeable and a joy to be around. We hope for confidence, consistency, kindness, and accountability. And I've got to say, we've been so lucky at Multnomah County to have had someone in our ranks for the last 25 years who checks all those boxes. Please stand, Deputy Chief Operating Officer Travis Graves. I'm guessing this is one of the ceremonies you miss sitting here as a former chief, chief human resources officer. But since January of 2022, Travis has been my trusted deputy. It's been a joy, and there's that word again, to work so closely with him to make sure that every employee in every corner of our organization feels supported to do their best work. Considering the many challenges the county and our workforce have faced over the last few years, it hasn't been easy, but I couldn't ask for a better partner to tackle the work of managing this incredibly diverse organization. So let's take a look back 
at Travis's path, it becomes pretty clear that in two and a half decades, he's been a part of the county fabric per that's prepared him for the role that he's in today. He arrived at the county in the summer of 1998 when Brandy and Monica and Shania Twain were at the top of the music charts and you could head to the theater to watch movies like Armageddon and Milan. He was hired as an employee services specialist one for the health department where he coordinated the recruitment and selection process, helped applicants and staff with their HR questions, and really a wide range of other HR activities. A year later, he joined the Department of Community Justice as an Employee Services Specialist two, and gradually worked his way up to HR Manager two by 2003, and then Program Manager Senior by 2005. It was during his time at DCJ when I, then serving as a county commissioner, first became aware of all of the things that you can count on Travis for, an analytical brain, an open ear, and clear eyes. Always seeking to demonstrate and share his skills, he was then hired into the Department of County Management as the HR Director in 2005, less than seven years after he began as an Employee Services Specialist. It's a quick trajectory. Well deserved. 11 years later in 2016, based on his expansive duties, his, his title was adjusted to human resources, chief human resources officer. Around the same time, excuse me, this always happens to me. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> Too much COVID. <laughs> Around the same time, oh, let's see. He was also appointed to the DCM Deputy Director. He agreed in 2020, just weeks before the pandemic became our new reality, to be the interim DCM Director. He served in that role until July of 2021, thank you, at which point he went back to just his Chief Human Resources Officer and Deputy DCM Director duties. Okay, I'm almost done. Which brings us to January of 2022 when I announced his role as the Deputy Chief Operating Officer. Since then, he's supervised a portfolio of DCM programs and divisions. He's developed a cohesive strategy toward enterprise and internal services across our departments. Travis has been a vital partner to the DCM Equity Manager, DCM Equity Committee, and of course to me in our work to center equity and lead with race. That's the rundown on what he's done. But before I wrap up, I want to go back to who he is. Through his 25 years, Travis has exemplified what it means not just to be a Multnomah County employee, but a Multnomah County leader. One of the more underrated and overlooked traits I think that many of us love to see in a leader is someone who celebrates their colleagues through their wins. Multiple people have testified to this in Travis. Administrative analyst, senior Kelly Gallippi, right down the way here who is the driving force behind this event let's thank kelly kelly is truly one of the people who knows travis well having worked directly with him for over a decade and i'm sure she could have picked from a million things she appreciates about travis but one of the first things she picked to appreciate about him is that he celebrated every success with her and Allison Sachet, our awesome evaluation and evaluation and research manager who's taken the lead on county on the countywide employee survey. And I'm sure everyone in this room took the survey, right? Um, shared a story about how during the height of the pandemic, her one year old kept sticking her his face into the camera in an all department meeting. Travis, of course, was not annoyed, but he he uh, wasn't also just politely tolerant either. He celebrated her baby, which also meant celebrating a colleague, bringing her full self to work. I'm sure that Travis has played a part in countless other stories like this since 1998. And thanks to his loyalty to Harry and David, where he worked a few years before he came to the county, he's earned a bit of a reputation as someone who isn't afraid to turn gift baskets, turn to gift baskets to mark something or someone we're celebrating. But today, Travis, we want to make sure you and your 25 years of service, commitment, dedication, community are celebrated too. Thank you, Travis. Thank you so much, board. Thank you so much, Serena. Um, today, we celebrate employees who have served the county for over 50, for 15 years or more. 
and individuals with five and 10 years of service have already been or will soon be recognized within their departments. Everyone was given an opportunity to select a gift as a token of our deep appreciation. So in a moment, I will be reading the names of those employees who have reached 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40 year milestones in 2023. Around 85 employees said they'd be able to join us today, but if we add up the years represented by all the individuals with these anniversaries countywide, we will have 287 employees who represent 5,960 years of service and dedication to the county and the community. That doesn't even include the five and 10 year anniversaries. I want to offer a collective thank you and congratulations for choosing to dedicate these years to serving your community. When I read your name, please come up uh, to the front and be congratulated by our commissioners and receive your certificate. While we make efforts to ensure we pronounce names correctly, it's possible I'll get something wrong and I want to apologize in advance. You deserve your name to be read correctly. And I ask for your grace and also that you let me know if I, Mess that up that you can that so I can do better in the in the future. After all the names are read, there'll be refreshments in the back room. I'm sure a picture will want to be taken too. And if the commissioner um, and if the chair and commissioners could come up front and I'll move to the other side so I can get a better view of the room. Get started. <clears throat> Okay, starting with 15 years from the Department of County Assets, Kale Adams. Jacob, Jacob Farkas. Greg Hockert. Amber Zwitch. From the Department of County Human Services, Pedro Alvarez. Brian Hughes. Tina Lewis. Jacqueline Lopez. Priscilla Pascal Hawkins. Rebecca Reynolds. Emily Tran. Melinda Williams. From the Department of County Management, Maureen Higgins. Emily Shuloff, Department of Community Services, Jeff Hagen, Tim Scott, Patricia Albaran, Lisa. Kava Rubius, Molly Franks, Molly Franks, Erica Garcia Mares, Yelena Galabor Adko. Sandy Pugh. Darcy Stenberg Mori. Luigi Tassia. From the library, Rachel Altman. Rebecca Gordon. David Lee, Ed 
And wrapping up 15 years of service from Nandi, Rebecca Stabenjord. Congratulations to 15 years of service. For our 20 year celebrants from the from DCA, Robert Griffiths. David Harris. Alfredo Perez Escalera. From Human Services, Antonio Centurion. From Community Justice, Ansley Flores. From Health, Marsha Brumba. Daisy Hernandez. Daniel Scortis. <laughs> Maria Villanueva. Wintress Watson. From the library, Lucy Giroche. Amy Knox. Sarah Oliver. Kylie Redifer. And wrapping up 20 years of service, Grant Swanson. Congratulations to those celebrating 20 years. Now on to those celebrating 25 years. From the DA's office, Juliana Forbes. Terry Baxter. From DCA, from DCHS, Carla Nielsen. Lori Sabala. Melanie Swinburne. Andre Kachenko. Hey, <laughs> Terry Behrman from DCJ. Chelsea Fanua. Fanua. Tracy Madsen. Stacy Sandberg. Heather Updike. From the Department of County Management, Travis Graves. Aaron Russell. From Community Services, Dan Markoff. From Health, Hassan Bader. Alex Brodsky. Kevin Katamura. Karen Marsala. Alma Martinez. Becca Smith. Ramona Waits.
From the library, Brandon Barnett. Jeff Burays. Jennifer Fort. Rosemary Hammer. Katie O'Hara. Pauline Terrio. Colleen Tucker. Shane Wavra. And wrapping up 25 years non-department, Kathy Short. Thank you to those celebrating 25 years. Moving on to 30 years from DCA, Jeff Nimesgren. From Human Services, Elizabeth McHugh. Karen Rigmaiden Autumn. Joe Stainto, Staino, from Community Justice, Dane Warnke, from Health, Marta Herrera, Chuet Nguyen, Anne Tran. Congratulations, those celebrating 30 years. On to 35 years of service. From Health, Barbara Broderick. Michelle Caranto. From library, John Cabrera. And wrapping up 35 years of service from the library, Martha Lilly. I feel like we need a drum roll for this. There you go. At 40 years of service from the library, Jeannie Ramston. And one more round of applause for all the celebrants today. Thank you for your years of service.
Thank you for coming today. There are refreshments in the back that have been heavily guarded, but that those those doors will be open now. And uh, do you want a picture chair or anything else? Yeah. Celebrants, feel free to come up for a large group picture.